The Australian brush turkey, Alectura lathami, is a large ground-dwelling bird endemic to Australia. It belongs to the family Megapolidae, which are a group of birds that use mounds of decaying vegetation to incubate their eggs. They are social animals, with groups consisting of a mature male with younger males and several female birds. The range of the bush turkey is restricted to the humid forests of New South Wales and Queensland, especially near the coastline, where there is also a higher concentration of human settlements. The brush turkey is listed as a species of least concern by the IUCN, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. They are also protected by the Australian law, which has led to their population growth in some areas. Despite this, they have nevertheless been affected by human activity in southeast Queensland. One of the main problems facing brush turkeys is urbanization. As the human population of southeast Queensland grows, more land will be required for housing and commerce. This will cause significant and ongoing alterations to the natural landscape of Australia, affecting biodiversity and the efficiency of the ecosystem. We are still eating into forests and that's going to lead to more declines, local extinctions and possibly even complete species extinctions. Pollution, loss of breeding sites and reduced food sources are some of the consequences of urbanization on native fauna. Brush turkeys, while relatively common, have an altered lifestyle, diet and reproduction in urban areas. Bush turkeys are omnivorous foragers, eating invertebrates, seeds, fungi, fruits and other parts of plants. However, they now incorporate human rubbish or scraps in their diet as an easy and readily available source of food. Brush turkeys in urban areas can incorporate unsuitable nesting materials into their mounds, such as rubbish and garden mulch. Dr. David Booth, a senior lecturer at the University of Queensland and specialist in bush turkey incubation, explains the negative impact this can have on turkey chicks. Some of these mounds uh, might have the optimal temperature and we know that when eggs are incubated away from optimal temperature they get uh, less hot optimal hatching success and also that there is um, some temperature dependent mortality on the sexes so that low temperatures you get more males coming out of the mounds and at high temperatures you get more females so there might be a, a bias of the sex ratio. Another serious problem for turkey chicks are feral cats, which have negatively impacted on chick mortality. Adult birds, on the other hand, must avoid larger threats like cars and angry gardeners. <coughs> Urban development fragments the turkey's habitat and isolates populations, both genetically and spatially. This increases the risk of extinction and some populations have already disappeared in some areas of New South Wales. Queensland's human population is projected to increase by one and a half million people in 20 years, leading to greater strain on the natural environment and consequently bush turkey populations. Some of the research we're doing here is looking at just how effective are green developments at conserving species. So if you retain a little bit of bush or ask people not to own big dogs, uh, does that actually enhance the survival of, of wildlife that might otherwise be lost? Even though this species has become a common backyard visitor, the high frequency of turkey sightings is not an indicator that their survival is guaranteed. Environmental sustainability and reduction of human disturbance are key factors for the preservation of the Australian brush turkey and the biodiversity of southeast Queensland.